so it's been a hot second since I used this channel. Um, the majority of the people watching this are probably going to be from the Aurora server, so hi. Like you guys. <laughs> I like my parents. Who says that? Um, <laughs> uh, minor divulgence. As I just said, I haven't used this channel in a hot second. Um, and I kind of stopped doing a lot of creative stuff for, uh, I think, a year and a half. Because uh, the various problems in my life and in my brain just kind of converged in such a way that it made those things a little impossible until I worked some things out. But now I've worked them out, and I've come back with shipping. <laughs> as you do, as a normal person does. Uh, <laughs> So, like, this pose, this pose right here, uh, this pose right here, specifically in the context of Aaron and I'm just gonna call them Michael, because that's what us on the server have called them. Uh, we don't know their name yet. I'm so excited to hear more about them, and I know we want to hear more about them for ages, and I am enraged. Not enraged, but, like, I'm vibrating because, like, they're my favorite. We've seen nothing from them, but they're my favorite. <laughs> Anywho, so like, um, the second that I saw them and that I knew they're coming for Aaron specifically, my brain went, it's shipping time. Uh, <laughs> and this pose walked up to me and offered a power bargain in exchange for my two days off of work this week. Uh, I guess I, I literally like to talk about my drawing process because nobody, um, not nobody, I've never actually talked to my drawing process to a specific person, so I might as well just shoot it into the void and see what happens. Um, <laughs> I started doing this, like, this red and blue thing of, like, the base body is always red, the clothing and anything on top of it is always blue. When my mom gave me, like, physically, she gave me <laughs> actual red and blue sketch pencils, and I was like, I love these. Oh, these are amazing. Why did I never think of this before? <laughs> um, so now I do it regardless of what medium I am in. Uh, and this thing that I'm doing right now in the image where like I'm making everything like I'm sharpening everything, I'm making things more saturated, and then I am like fading it into lower opacity, uh, which you'll see it eventually. Uh, <laughs> I love how I literally like drew both of their entire bodies and then I was like, and then it's going to be covered in skirts so I will erase all of it. <laughs> Delete your art! Uh, <laughs> ah, Drawfee would be proud. So, uh, on the subject of Drawfee though, um, uh, the line art, uh, as you can see, I'm going over everything in yellow now. And the reason I'm going over everything in yellow is because, uh, Julia from Drawfee, uh, she, uh, she regularly does this thing where she's like, I will draw my line art in a really ugly color, um, that is not black, so, both so that I'm not, like, precious with my lines, and also so that I can get through it fast and don't, like, fiddle and faddle with things too much. Um, <laughs> thing is, because I chose a shade of yellow that I find inherently ugly, um, <laughs> that means that it doesn't show up on white very well, so you'll frequently see the screen just sort of flickering into no opacity so that I can actually see what my lines are <laughs> um, amongst all of the scribblies. Um, speaking of scribblies, that's another thing. It's that, like, um, as I was drawing this, uh, I came across Red's little, um, uh, little, like, posing thing that she, she answered something about posing on Tumblr. Uh, and, uh, that was like, a, how do you do the poses? And, and she was like, well, basically what I do is I do the base, base sketch and then I go to the line art. And the thing is, there is such a stark difference in detail from her base sketch to her line art. Like, her base sketch is just a couple of lines and a head shape. And then her line art is just the next thing she does. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand how she does that. How do you not, like, do, like, the base little bones and then you also bulk things out in like little in short sketchy hatch lines and then do the line art that's like that's a whole phase that she can just skip <laughs> anywho um so yeah uh the um the line art didn't actually give me much trouble which it usually gives me so much trouble oh my gosh um uh i used like this little this little graphite pencil brush because like i really like my brushes toothy i like toothy brushes um, <laughs> I, I suppose I could fill time here, uh, with nothing or something. Uh, only now have I remembered, uh, my thing from speech class where it's like, you gotta fill a minute, and a minute is a lot longer than you think it is. <laughs> um, oh, look, my references. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so because I drew them in, uh, because I drew them in the sketch layer 
without like detailed hair um uh because i was trying to be mimic the thing that red does where she's like yeah i just sort of do this that and then i jump in because i remember or at least i have references and therefore know what i'm doing <laughs> um god that's wild not using references for your sketch and then using them for the line art i've never done that uh and it was actually really fun here um even though aaron's hair specifically gave me trouble because I don't know how to draw hair blown backward from its <laughs> from its original, uh, what's it called again, shape. So at first, in this specific phase, while I kept looking at Aaron and I kept thinking, that's, that's Ashling, that's Ashling from Thrilling Intent. Uh, <laughs> um, I just, I was just like, so you will see me after I change the line color to a deep indigo as opposed to a black because I, don't, I just don't like the look of black. <laughs> I like having my line art be colors that are not black. I love doing funky things with my line art. Um, <laughs> I like coloring my line art. I like making it incredibly kooky. I like making really thick lines and then doing stuff inside of them, like adding stars and glitter inside of the line art. Um, anyway, so like, uh, as you can see, I tweaked Aaron's hair so that he at least does not look like Ashling to me. Uh, <laughs> And then, you know, I uh, fiddled and faddled with, uh, with Michael's wings because, God, those wings are hard for me to draw. And I know they're really simple, and I know I did not actually look at a reference for them uh, because I had such a specific shape in my brain, but I just... Meh. Um, however, looping back to the whole I stole an idea from a person that I watch on YouTube, <laughs> which is a uh, regular theme in this video, apparently. Uh, um, it's, uh, I saw... Uh, I saw Ginger Ninja's uh, video about Clip Studio Paint, which I really want to get Clip Studio Paint. I did this on Ibis Paint, which is a thing for a phone, <laughs> because I don't have a real computer. I have like a clunky Acer uh, from like 2001 uh, <laughs> uh, because that my mom handed down to me. Uh, I'm working on getting a PC and I'm going to build it myself because I'm extra. Uh, <laughs> but my point is that if I could just get to my point. What was it? Right, uh, in that video, uh, they were like, so yeah, I just sort of plop, I, I, I fill bucket tool in uh, a base color for everyone, and then I make that base color their skin tone, and then I just add things on top in layers. And I actually named my layers for this one. Naming your layers is fun, go do it. Uh, <laughs> good grief. Uh, my face is kind of heating up, I think, because I'm nervous, uh, but whatever, we're just rolling with this. Um, you can tell my love of funky line art. But if you, if you, if you wait a second, as soon as I, like, pick the color, the, the background, pick the background color like a normal person, once I've done that, you will see my favorite part coming up. <laughs> um, God. <laughs> um... Here's my favorite part, is the shading, because I've discovered, um, semi-recently, um, for those of you on the server that know, <laughs> uh, like a year and a half ago or something, I, I might be I exaggerating the time frame, but I just, I made all of the main characters in Aurora into magical girls, which was once again just me stealing an idea from Ninja Ninja. <laughs> um... I, I have this thing that I do where I just collect ideas from other people and am like, and now it's mine. <laughs> but like in that, I tested out this really neat uh, chunky geometric shading uh, with I think specifically Alan was uh, picture. Um, and I adored it. And ever since then, I've just been using it a lot. <laughs> Similarly, I also discovered in that um, in that experience, the little, uh, the triangle noise brush, which I adore, like, a lot. Like, it's just, it's colorful, and it's, it's like, it's like, it is almost as if, like, the brush makes it so that all of the light reflect, reflects, refracts, just, like, naturally, like, the, uh, the brush comes in, and suddenly all of the light starts refracting, and it makes everything look so pretty, and I just, ah! And on the subject of light, like, um, uh, making their wings, uh, glow slash, uh, basically become, like, light-sucking voids in contrast. Like, like, in the top right corner, it's like, glowy, glowy wings, and then the bottom left corner, it's just like, and now I will add a color burn layer with, like, purple, and it'll just be like, uh, ah, I just, god, I love it. And then, 
and then adding in like the the glitter dots uh, and 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 shimmeries for the stars it's like oh my goodness everything just comes together so beautifully and it just makes me so happy <laughs> And that's the full drawing. Uh, I would not suggest you watch my last serious attempt at doing a YouTube, because if I was, because as far as I'm concerned, it is cringe as all get out. Um, but you know what? I will be doing more of these because I want to. <laughs>